I can feel like I'm not doing enough, but actually seeing it on pen and paper. Hey guys, it's me, Marquita G of Marquita In Your Business, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm super excited to be consistent with you guys, and I was thinking of ideas of what I should be recording, and like I said, we just here on vibes, we're just on here on energy, and if you like that, make sure that you hit the subscribe button, make sure that you're sharing this and join the community. I need a community name. So if you have any ideas about that, please put that in the comment section below. So let's get started. We are doing a quick unboxing today. I ordered some things off of Amazon and I was like, okay, that's a great way to like segue into back into YouTube and just getting practice in with being in front of the camera. And as I always say, doing it scared. So let's jump in. I have to be quick because if you heard that, the boss is out in the living room, aka my son. And if he pops in, that's just, just what's going to be. So first thing I want to share is I got a tripod. So specifically for <laughs> my iPad because my secondary phone got lo I'm locked out of my secondary phone my son got to it kept pushing and then I'm locked out of that secondary phone so I needed a backup I guess recording option until I'm able to invest in getting a camera um I just got this was the cheapest way to get a um a tripod and then um I got I'm into dip powder, so if you see my nails, I've been dipping for about almost a month now, and I'm starting to get really good at it, and so I bought some more things to um, enhance my dip powder. So I got these, um, I wanted more fall colors, so I got this kit that came with some fall colors, so I'm super excited to try it. Maybe that's another video I can do of how I actually, I'm like, I'm not a, I'm not a pro. So, but that doesn't mean I can't do a video, right? <laughs> um, so I got that for the dip nails and then I also got some chrome colors for my dip nails. So I'm just like, super excited to get designing. I think I love it because it's super fast. I feel like it's easier than anything else I've tried. I hate sitting under the UV light and I hate um, the time to dry. Like I feel like these dip nails dry really, really quickly. So that's super helpful. And another thing I got is like design brushes for my nails. So this is more like a nail kit <laughs> a whole than anything. And lastly, let me move this out the way. Lastly, I got a jean jacket. Now, what I'm going to do with this jean jacket is going to be super cool. Making sure my mic is on. Uh, because I seen this Dallas Cowboys uh, jacket at the store. And they wanted like $140 for it. And I was like, uh-uh, my mom got all the stuff at home. She got vinyl, she got a cutting machine, she got a heat press. So I'ma figure it out. So I bought a jean jacket with the um, intention of creating like a Dallas, Dallas Cowboys custom jacket for myself. So let's see how this fits because I might order another one just for everyday use they said <laughs> um sorry if i'm hitting the mic they said um jean jackets got a hold on millennials and they did not lie okay i haven't had one that fit though in a long time so yeah i might have to order another one of these just for everyday everyday use but I also want to come on 
aside from doing an unboxing and share with you guys like what I'm doing towards my goal setting so I know everybody on social media is talking about to the winter arc and how we have three months left in the year and get to going and I've also talked about this previously on my podcast before but like fourth quarter is where champions are born and I truly believe that like instead of having a mindset of like oh my gosh I didn't do nothing I'm gonna wait to the end of the year. I mean I'm gonna wait to the beginning of the year and start fresh I always think like fourth quarters champions what can we be doing but I've been gentle with myself as well because I am just get coming out of postpartum depression so I'm trying to slow roll myself as opposed to becoming overwhelmed and not doing it and this is like uh what's the word I'm looking for like this is the result of me doing just that and that's just slow rolling, going with the flow, not forcing things. And what I did as far as like the goals that I want to achieve is writing like them out and brain dumping them into the different sections. So like my financial goals, my family goal, my personal goals, my business goals, my, um, I'm trying to think of all the sections, but those are like mainly the most sections that I feel like I put everything into the pillars and so I've just been checking things off of the over arc bigger goals so in my previous uh welcome back video where have I been video my life update video I spoke about considering going to law school and so I am really feeling deeply about doing that and so this week like I've been taking like baby steps toward that big bigger goal and so that started with me requesting my transcripts from my previous university and getting all that now I've been researching colleges and schools and also researching grants and looking up grants that um, qualify for older because I'm in my older 30s <laughs> uh, but for women who want to go back to school for mothers who want to go back to school so I'm looking for ways that um, it can help me get there and I don't have to pay for it because I think that was the biggest um, hindrance for me doing it back when I first had the idea to do it because it's like I knew that they had scholarships I knew opportunities were out there but that was nothing that was like really pushed on me and I really wasn't conscious of like the impact of doing well in high school and having the great SAT scores like I it's like I knew it but it wasn't like something that I felt convicted about okay There's just so much more clarity on what I want to do and how I can get there without having to spend my heart on coin okay and not being discouraged by that plight and I really do not want to go the student loan route because that that just seems like when people say student loans and people say child support those are like <laughs> two words that you just mm -mm, mm -mm, don't want nothing to do with it so yeah that's what I really been like kind of checking off I guess personal goals this week and um I guess the theme this week has been like research regarding that aspect the biggest thing i wanted to share though with goal setting is like just the power of brain dumping it and making them into smaller goals and building out like brick by brick brick by brick i feel like i can speak for myself like i just want to see um the fruits of my labor instantly and that's just not a reality so i also been keeping track in a um what am I trying to say a planner I've been keeping track of what I do every day in a planner so doing is writing down everything I do for the day whether it's for personal goals or whatever area the goal is I put I got a planner I got this from like Ross or Marshall's one of those for like ten dollars and what I like about this planner one is it has stickers <laughs> haven't used them yet but 
I wrote down like the monthly goals and some highlights already. And then for, and I can just show this cause I just started this. But like say for instance, for the specific day, I will write what I did for the day in this section. And if it overflows, I'll write it over here too. But just like keeping track of what I've done for the day. And some days I do one, one thing or some days I'm killing it. I'm doing five things. But I think this is just a best, a better, a better way for me to track and see how much I'm doing because I can feel like I'm not doing enough, but actually seeing it on pen and paper um, or digitally, I think will make me feel like, oh, I am achieving the goals that I'm setting out for myself. And yeah, that's exactly all I want to share with you guys about how I'm setting goals, um, what I'm doing, the overall like big agenda goals. So team law school, going back to school, team Marquita Esquire, and also like being very, like I said, consistent with being on social media, being consistent back on YouTube, being consistent with creating content. So let me hurry up. Like I said before, I'm so interested in building community. So let me know what goals you're setting for yourself um, or you've already fulfilled so far for the year. What areas you feeling like you're having more challenges in? Put them in the comment section below. And if you like this content, like I said before, make sure that you're sharing, subscribing and liking this content. And until next time, I'll see you. Remember to trust your gut. Don't overthink and do it scared. See you guys next time.